uh, Wednesday night Q&A. Uh, any questions over what Wednesday nights will look like uh, for the remainder of this month and into February? Any questions on that? Or what the format is? What the purpose of it is? Uh, when you receive information? Any of those kind of questions? I know we haven't done that good of a job in following people. Okay. The information from Wednesday night, the teaching, uh, it should be going online. And we will make sure if it's not, it'll get there soon. We were in the middle of uh, changing over the live streaming, and that may be one of the hiccups. Uh, can we have that on, Andy, by uh, Monday? The stuff from Wednesday nights? We can take care of that. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll send out an email. Very good. Uh, on Wednesday nights, uh, for the months of uh, January, February, I'm doing a teaching, and then it's going to help me with some of it in the uh, sanctuary, and then you'll be dismissed to groups, much like we were uh, last night, or Wednesday night, rather. And for the next uh, three weeks, uh, next two weeks, rather, I will email out on probably Monday, e email you Monday, the discussion questions that you could use in small group. For the teaching that will take place after that, uh, for six weeks, you're going to actually get a booklet. You'll get a, uh, your own notebook. And you'll get that either, you'll have two choices to pick it up, the Wednesday night before or the Sunday. The, so in two weeks, on Wednesday night, you can pick up your booklet for the next six weeks. Or for some reason you can't pick it up then, that Sunday morning leading into that next week. So you'll have the information uh, before I teach it for all your uh, discussions. It'll be all six weeks together. So you can be ahead. Good question, though. Yes, sir. If the goal, you still want to get most, everybody can become Wednesday night and sit in on them. The goal is for everybody that is that is, will not make a hardship for them. Meaning, and, and guys, here, let me add on to that just a little bit. One of the reasons that we're having this series of meetings and all that we're asking of you is I believe with all my heart that God has spoken to us, not only the prophecies that we inherited from 30 years of ministry under Brother David, but also some things he's spoken to me about. And I believe this is going to be a great year of revival for Orange County. I believe what Pastor David has shared for years that God said he would sit as many people here as we're prepared to minister to. Part of that is I need, and uh, Dennis needs, uh, open communication. There are times that we need to hear from you what's working, what's not working. And, and as we talk about some of these changes and new ways to do things, as you apply it and they can say, hey, it was a little cumbersome here, or it didn't work here, we need to know. For one reason, Steve mentioned that the goal is to have everybody attend on Wednesday night. And at first, my goal was everybody attend Wednesday night. And I had even shared that with some group leaders. And there were some groups that were meeting that, were, that was making a real hardship for. Obviously, we had people working in ministries at uh, preschool, children, nurseries, that that would be a hardship for, obviously. And so it didn't take very long for someone to come to me and say, hey, have you thought of this yet? Well, no, I hadn't. Uh, and so we revamped it a little bit. So what we're asking is on Wednesday nights, anybody who's able to attend, we would love you to attend. If you're ministering somewhere, obviously we don't want you to leave the preschoolers unattended so that you can come in there. Uh, so how do we provide information for those people whose responsibilities and commitments have, don't allow them to come in on Wednesday night? That will be available on the website. But if you are available, yes, we want you to be here. Sandy. Would you repeat the questions? Because I'm not able to hear very well what the questions are way over there. Okay, I will. Did you have a good response to people want to be in care group after you said those were the questions? We had, yes. <clears throat> not as well as I would have liked, but I had some surprises that I did not anticipate. We have enough to have two groups start, uh, two new groups start, which is a good thing. Uh, they will be temporary groups. But we also had a lot of people that left 
that went into groups that had not been in group before who showed up to say, that, well, I left because I knew which group I was going to. So several people came back and said, hey, we had new people and then we're going to be committed to our group as a part of it. Well, I didn't anticipate that, uh, but that happened quite a bit. Uh, Lee's had uh, a new visitor. I believe uh, y'all had a couple of people back in yours. Y'all had two. And so that, I didn't anticipate that. I kind of anticipated we would uh, have something that they knew who they wanted to be with and we went, so that was great. The question, you heard that question, I'm assuming. Okay. We had a, we had a couple that had uh, been in our care group in years past, and they have they got a really timely work to do. And they said, you know, we're going to have to So basically saying that uh, family communicated to her that they had been ministering separately. This gave a great time to come back together, minister together, and kind of refocus and orient their their lives. So great. Good, good outcome. Anybody else? Yes. Your group will be meeting on a night other than uh, Wednesday. And so how do we get the information into your hands as soon as possible? Our goal in that case uh, would be to get it on the Internet ASAP. Uh, I don't know if we can get it turned around that evening, but probably, uh, Andy, if we taped it on Wednesday night, can we post it Thursday morning onto the Internet? Okay, we'll post it. So that'll be our goal, to have it posted Thursday morning for your group to watch before... Okay, very good. Very good. All right. Yes, sir. And you did not just mention to everybody email addresses. We can get them current and correct. And that we're also trying to get where we can do mass text messaging. And to do mass text messaging, we need people's text messaging phone number and, and the carrier. name of their carrier. <clears throat> oh, many of you I've seen Dennis has gathered a lot of information. And you can disseminate this not only for you, but for your groups. Uh, we're trying to improve our communication, uh, our, our infrastructure for communication. And that has not always been uh, our strong suit. And so what we're asking is that uh, Dave is saying that if not only we can get your email addresses, but if we could get people in your groups, you'll see it on Sunday morning even. We're going to be asking for update information. That allows us to do mass emails, obviously. If we can get your not only your mobile number, but your carrier, we have to have the carrier in order to do mass texting. But if we put in Ronnie Gloria Lee, here's her email address. Their carrier is AT&T, here's her phone number. Uh, we can send out the same message to them that we do to Zilks that have uh, T-Mobile as their carrier. But if we don't know what the carrier is, that message doesn't go out. And so we need the carrier and the phone number for that. But uh, uh, we might even pass a paper around uh, does everybody have the copy with the yeah. names and <coughs> Okay. You and you should have a copy of the your name, phone number, email address. Just verify all that stuff for us. Make sure that's appropriate and correct. <clears throat> Let me just say on the carrier question. Uh, if I've got your email address, if you hadn't turned in your sheet, make a note on it. If you've already turned it in, don't dig it out. I'll, I'll find out your carrier. This is a fairly small group. I'll touch base with you and get your carrier. If you hadn't turned that sheet in, this was part of my announcements. Uh, I need it before you go. Make any corrections. If you hadn't turned it in, make note who your carrier is. And I already have it. The rest of you don't need it. 
All right, folks. Oh, yes, sir. If you live in the dark ages and don't do texting, what's our next best? Well, uh, Dave Wagner is going to be learning the worst code. Uh, <laughs> Dave is going to be practicing some smoke signals. <laughs> and uh, uh, those that do not communicate through texting, well, obviously, uh, Shelby allows us to type out a letter or do whatever we want. We can do a mail merge, uh, email, text. So we can say, if there's a text number, text it. If there's no text number, email it. If there's no text or email, print it out so that we'll put them in hard copy. So it allows us to do a lot of things and we'll be able to. Uh, if, it, if it adds more code, I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs>